Hey, welcome back, guys. Yeah. Very well. So, uh, part six. We're gonna get this part out. Um, also, this is relating to VR chat. If you're seeing Hubbard pops and other maps, it's because people have found a way to steal maps. Uh, I have not given any props from Club Rogue to anyone else, so just an FYI for uh, this club, so they're probably going to scrutinize and watch this video. It had nothing to do with me. Anyways, moving onwards to... Goodness, we're going to try to keep it to like 20 minute parts if we can. Yeah, it's like a question. And off we go. Thank you, Master. We... Shh. Hello? You are... a fellow seeker of the Higher Plains, perhaps? What brings you here? What splendid news! At last, the Holy Land is empty of his disruptive aura, and the Astral Plane is open to us all. Oh. But the Transcendent Master will want to hear of this, and as the returning champion, it is your right and honor to tell him yourself. After all, it is he who makes all true decisions about the spiritual growth of our tribe, including the decision to cleanse the mansion. Would that I was so wise. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist that is tribe of idiots. What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science! Much more elegant than shambling on as some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? At the moment, they've been no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device. 
ice in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Yes, fellow seeker. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Calvert is my old rival. It's not a matter... I knew he was here. Figurative.
Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now, you ready to stop whining and listen? So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now... Oh, I knew... All of Madame Panada's wares are top quality. Of course, I learned many tricks from my father. I knew that's why you came to me.
Fair travel. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed-up old limey. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! No one betrays me! Do you understand? You, you will suffer for this! Both pay!
Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go trade a bunch of stuff or repair some stuff, and I'll see you again in a couple minutes, maybe. Make sure you trade the like button, make sure you subscribe button, see you again soon.